Can you just talk about the last stages of your race there? Uh, you know, uh, this is my second one, and so I kind of knew it was coming a little more than last time I did it last fall. And so, um, you know, I just wanted to keep my pace even and work with a couple guys. Luckily, I had Jason Navdi with me for the last six miles, and I just wanted to make sure I wasn't alone, just so I, I had someone to go with. We'll take turns doing the pace, and, you know, you just expect your legs to feel dead the last six miles, and that was something I... I didn't deal with that well last season because it was my first one, but I, I, I expected this time. I knew how it felt, so I was able to handle a little bit better. The start of the race, the Americans really took it out pretty quick. Well, you know, we well we didn't take it out quick. It's just that everyone else was really slow. We went out with 545. And obviously it's uphill, but still, you don't, I don't know, it's an uphill and it's the first mile, but you don't want to start out at six minute pace, you, know? you, you at least want to keep it somewhat honest. So, I mean, given that pace in the beginning, the, the, the pack behind you eventually moved up. Yeah. What were the, your thoughts going through your head at that point? Uh, you know, you expect them to. It, it always happens after a couple miles. You know, no one's going to get dropped in the first ten miles. And so, um, I was glad when they came up, because that way it was windy so we could get behind people, kind of tuck in. And not face the wind like we did the first couple of miles. Yeah. Um, you know, I set a goal to run 211, and the thing is, I've just never done this course. You know, I, I don't know what the course was like. Um, it was hilly, obviously. No course was going to be totally flat. It was really windy at the beginning, too. And so, I mean, from the very beginning, when we ran 545 and when it was windy, I knew a, a 211 wasn't going to happen. So at that point, you just got to put splits out of your mind and just focus on, on what's going on around you. Did you enjoy it enough to uh, come back next year? Yeah, no, I both my marathons have been awesome. I love them. Uh, it's definitely something I want to focus on more, get used to, but I'm planning on doing a fall marathon every year from, from here on out. Does it help a lot having Kara also training for the marathon as well? Having what? Kara training for the marathon. Yeah, no, I, I mean, it's good to talk with her about it, and obviously we don't train together, but, um, you know, Alberto's an amazing marathon coach, and so it's nice to have that.